Today's vital statistics are sponsored by Krause Monument. Krause Monument Company designs and produces granite headstones, gravestones, grave markers, monuments, and memorials. Mary Willison, 75, of Richland Center, died August 17th at Our House Memory Care. Funeral services for Mary and her husband Richard will be held Friday at 11 at the Pratt Memorial Chapel. Friends may call at the Pratt Memorial Chapel Friday from 10 until the time of service at 11. The family suggests memorials in Mary and Richard's name be directed to the Grace Greater Richland Area Cancer Elimination or the Alzheimer's Association. Mary Willison, 75, of Richland Center. Christina K. Tina Yoder, 37, of Rural Hillsboro, died September 17th at home. Funeral services will be held Friday at 11 at the Piha Funeral Home in Hillsboro. Burial will be in the Forest Burr Cemetery, Rural Hillsboro. Friends may call at the Piha Funeral Home this evening from now until 8 and again tomorrow morning from 10 until the time of service at 11. Christina K. Tina Yoder, 37, of Rural Hillsboro. Mary Ann Lindy Schmitz, 90, of Bear Valley, died Tuesday at Pines Independent Living in Prairie de Sac. A funeral mass will be held Saturday at 11 at St. Killian's Catholic Church in Bear Valley. Burial will be in the church cemetery. Friends may call at St. Killian's Catholic Church Saturday from 9 until the time of Mass at 11. The Stafford Funeral Home in Richland Center is assisting the family with arrangements for Mary Ann Lindy Schmitz, 90, of Bear Valley. Robert M. Bob Schmitz, 81, of Richland Center, died September 15th at Pine Valley Community Village from complications related to frontal lobe dementia. A memorial mass will be held Saturday at 1130 at Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary Catholic Church in Richland Center. Burial will be at a later date. Friends may call at the Stafford Funeral Home in Richland Center Saturday from 9 until 1115 before departing to the church. In lieu of flowers, memorials may be made to the family to be donated to Alzheimer's, Pine Valley Community Village, and a grace. Robert M., Bob Schmitz, 81, of Richland Center. Peter B. Regnery, age 81, died August 7th. A funeral service will be held at 2.30 Saturday at St. Philip Church near Rolling Ground. A burial service and reception will follow at the Regnery Farm. The Pratt Funeral and Cremation Service is assisting the family with arrangements for Peter B. Regnery, age 81. Pauline L. Stockton, age 101, died Monday. A funeral service will be held at 11 o'clock Monday at the Kendall Funeral Service in Boscobel. Burial will be at the Czechs National Cemetery, Yuba. Friends may call at the Kendall Funeral Home Monday from 9 until the time of service at 11. Pauline L. Stockton, age 101. Orville Fredenberg, 95 of Cottage Grove, died Monday. A funeral service will be held Wednesday at 11 at Hope Lutheran Church in McFarland. The service may be live-streamed at GundersonFH.com. Burial will be held at Hope Cottage Grove Cemetery. Friends may call at Hope Lutheran Church Wednesday from 9 until the time of service at 11. Memorials may be made to Hope Lutheran Church. Gunderson East Funeral and Cremation Care is assisting the family of Orville Fredenberg, 95, of Cottage Grove. Mark James Delcamp, 66, of Muscaday, died Saturday. A memorial service will be held Saturday, November 30th at noon at the Pratt Funeral Home in Muscaday. Friends may call at the Pratt Funeral Home Saturday, November 30th from 10 until the time of service at noon. Mark James Delcamp, 66, of Muscaday. Esther Powers, 82, of Reedstown, died Wednesday at Soldiers Grove Health Services. A private graveside service will be held at a later date. The Syme Funeral Home and Crematory in Reedstown is serving the family of Esther Powers, 82, of Reedstown.